Hey everyone, <clears throat> you know that uh, that old fairy tale about the princess who kisses the frog and he turns into a prince. Well, <clears throat> on the same token, when we see past the ugliness of our pain, our shortcomings, our traumas, our difficulties, and we know and we feel into, we sense, we see who we truly are, truly, who we truly are. And we act from that place. And we live from that place. And we make decisions from that place. And we choose to be from that place. And we choose over and over and over again. And it's not easy. The little frogs, the little parts of us that we consider frogs, that are unlovable, that are ugly, undesirable, they grow up and they become princes. On the same token, <clears throat> the poet Rainer Maria Rilke <clears throat> said, uh, Perhaps all the dragons in our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us act just once with beauty and courage. Perhaps everything that frightens us is in its deepest essence something helpless that wants our love. When we see ourselves and we act from that place of power, of inner truth, of courage, of greatness. When we choose to show ourselves and expose our pain and own it and love it, that's courageous. And uh, it transforms when we acknowledge it from something we can't bear to look at to something unimaginably beautiful. And there's so much power that we have that we're so afraid to release that gets trapped in these, these parts of ourselves that we have shunned away and um, I just want you all to be aware of those parts of yourself and to reclaim and to take back those pieces because when we take back those pieces we show the way for others to take back those pieces of themselves we're, when we're able to tell our stories about the, those experiences and um, <clears throat> we're able to share those pieces of ourselves that we thought were unlovable, we give permission to others to love those pieces of themselves and people begin to see and the light begins to cast on the shadows and the narratives in our culture and in ourselves and in our families and soon you can't stop the light from getting into the dark places, the corners, the crevices, the places we would never wanted to look. So I implore you and I, I just want you all to, to know that you have the capacity, the power, the ability, the strength courage, the vulnerability, the, the, the integrity, the self-love to reach into those pieces of yourself and love you, love them and to expose them and to share them and to heal and to grow from them and to, to let those pieces that you shunned away become pieces and points of power for yourself that will fuel your further 
awakening, opening, surrendering, and greatness, and self-love, courage, and capacity to <coughs> commune, connect, and create with others.